Hey, accredited investors, I'm excited to announce that we have a new deal right now. It's a 78 unit building, five minutes from the Kentucky Derby. Its rents are presently 20% below market for renovated units. To learn more, all you need to do is go to homeinvest.com or click in the description below. Always consult with a tax advisor, financial planner, and or attorney before making investment decisions. Having said all that, all you need to do to learn more is go to homeinvest.com or click in the description below. Welcome back to Purpose Driven Passive Profits, the show that helps you be a great steward of your resources and reach financial freedom and retirement sooner through passive real estate investing. Today, we are going to be talking about a deal that we saw in Miami. It was forwarded to us and why we did not take it and why we are recommending that you don't invest in Miami right now and what we would recommend instead. You're gonna get into all the reasons. If this is your first time joining us on Purpose Driven Passive Profits. His name is Nate Armstrong. He is the CEO and founder of Home Invest, an Inc. 500 company that is dedicated to being a great steward of resources, reaching financial freedom through real estate investing. He's been in real estate for more than 20 years, done more than 1,500 deals. My name is Steve Warner, and I am the Chief Investment Officer here at Home Invest. All right, Nate, let's jump into it. Miami, good place, hot spot, great shirts. Buy, not invest. City, vibrant city, people are moving there more than most other metros in the country. Yes, I know. And people are going to say, well, hey, you're crazy not to look at Miami. One of the biggest syndicators in the world is in Miami, and they keep touting Miami. Well, I want to go through the raw data, actually, because I think that a lot of times we get excited about the allure or the shiny objects or the shininess of a place, but really we need to look at the fundamentals. And um, this was brought to light to me. I'm going to verbally describe this some of you that are able to see our video, you'll see this. For those of you that are just listening to audio, I will break this down for you. So what I'm looking at right now is the rent as a percentage of income. And um, what you can see here, when you look closely at the map, you'll see that Miami is clocking in at 51% of their income right now is going towards rent. 51% based on the uh, Labor in, Labor Bureau of Statistics data on um, income rates for the area versus the average rent rate for the area. If you back that out and you start to look at some of the other parts of the state of Florida, like Jacksonville, it's at 30.42%, which is pretty normal, pretty healthy. When you start to get in the range of paying 50%, that's half of all of your income going towards rent, that becomes unsustainable. That typically pops. Now, in the midst of a recession, basically looking at historical data, rents don't use, or excuse me, um, uh, income doesn't usually go up that much. In order for us to correct this 51% of income going towards rent problem that Miami has, income's either going to have to come up a lot or rents are going to have to come down. It's the only way that long-term people can sustain, sustain where things are at. And I just don't see income going up right now, not in the middle of a recession, maybe a little bit, but not, not very much. And so uh, at some point, that whole cycle, the whole thing in Miami is going to pop. So when that deal got sent over to us, yes, it looks like a good deal on paper today, but I'm just forecasting not, so, not such good things for Miami in the near future. Well, I mean, Nate, the, some people would argue and say, you know, multifamily, one of the beautiful things about it is during a recession, Multifamily tends to go up because people are moving into multifamily properties. They're moving out of single family and into multifamily. But I can say what we're seeing here in Austin, because we saw the same thing. We saw this big run up over the last three years as tech people were moving here, the city's growing and income, like income's going up. So rents are going up, single family ownership's going up. But we just had what you just talked about happen. Right now, we are at like the 55 to 60% of income going towards housing expense. We just saw a whole bunch of layoffs in the tech sector, which led to people saying, why do I live here? I like living here. But when push comes to shove, why am I spending $3,500 a month on rent when I could go live two hours away for half the amount of money? And the same, it's even easier in Miami. You can move up to Daytona or you can move up to Pensacola. You could, There are a lot of places you can move inside of Florida where your rent is now 
$2,000, $1,500 less, and you've still got the great weather, you've still got the benefits of living in Florida. So that's that's what I see. Do you have a different argument that you would tell people? No, no, you, you actually hit the nail on the head. It's like, if people are not going to continue, they cannot physically sustain 51% of their, their income going towards rent. And, and even if like someone did it short term, at some point when a medical bill hits, or if they lose their job, or if they get into a car accident and not everything is covered, that's when the whole thing pops for that individual. And it, when it starts to happen to people on a bigger scale, like a 7% unemployment rate, like we saw during the last recession, that's when people, they, they start falling down like, I don't even, I don't even want to give a bad analogy here, Steve, but they start falling down like dominoes at that point. Yeah. Absolutely. So what should we look for instead? I know right now, um, our investment thesis, we are looking for things around Louisville and Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, we have several properties there already. What separates those like that area from Miami? Can you just run us through a high level? Yeah, absolutely. So um, uh, Louisville, as an example, their um, percentage of rent or percentage of in income going towards rent is 23.38%. So that's just a quarter. It's not half. It's a quarter of someone's income is going towards rent. That's very affordable for someone. Someone can sustain that. Uh, Lexington, 24.58%. Both of them are under a quarter. Even if we go up to the next biggest city, which is Cincinnati, Ohio, just across the border, Cincinnati's at 24.38%. So from just a pure cash flow perspective, like counting on collecting rent, I would bet on these Kentucky markets and that Cincinnati market all day long over a market like Miami in the middle of a recession when jobs get slashed and the unemployment rate goes up. I'll take these Kentucky cities and these uh, Ohio cities any day of the week. Absolutely. So, I mean, not only do we have less there, like less total percentage of income going to rent. The other thing that I really like to see is we haven't seen crazy growth there. It's not like a big rubber band that stretched that's going to snap back. We've seen slow, steady growth. We know that people like being there and people aren't going to go anywhere. It's not like in Austin, what we've seen over the last three years is we've seen the city grow by 10 to 15%, like boom, boom, boom. And now it's like starting to contract. People are like, well, I like living here, but why do I live here? I can go somewhere else. Um, so with those things being said, if you would like to hear about our latest offering, right now we've closed two deals um, very recently in Kentucky. Uh, we are working on the third. We have an LOI out for it right now. If you would like to hear about that, you can go to homeinvest.com backslash podcast. The link is also underneath this, either in the show notes, or if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll be able to jump on a call with Nate and myself and hear about the deal that we are working on. Um, it is for accredited investors. It is a $100,000 minimum investment. Uh, we're looking for up to a 16% IRR with a 1.8x multiple, which means if you gave us $100,000, you should get $180,000 back. And we can't guarantee anything. We're happy to cover all of these things with you on a call with us. You go to homeinvest.com to get on our calendar. Nate, anything to say before we jump off? Yeah, uh, multifamily. That's the, the recession-resistant asset class during the this whole upcoming cycle we're going through. So look closely at it. Even if not with us, just look closely at it as an investment for your portfolio. Awesome, guys. Our job here is to make sure that you are great stewards of what God has given you. We believe in doing that for ourselves. We believe in spreading it to you guys as well, sharing with you all the information. Make sure to check in with us next time. We'll be sharing with you. Actually, we're going to be going deep on why you should not be doing development syndications. And you should look at not even value add multifamily. We're going to show you the right segment on multifamily to look at. Till then, make sure your investments are secure. Take care of yourself and be great stewards. We'll see you next time here on Purpose Driven Passive Profits. Thanks so much for listening to our show today. Here's Nate with our latest offering. Oh, so I'm excited to announce this. We've got a 78 unit building multifamily property. It's five minutes from the Kentucky Derby. Its rents are presently 20% below market for renovated units. To learn more, all you need to do is go to homeinvest.com 
or click in the description below.